Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, we're here to look at Ultimate Chicken Horse. Now, this game has been around for a while, it's been out on PC and other systems like that. Um, but it is the first time and it's finally coming to the Switch. This is a game that a lot of people have been looking forward to. I've actually never played this game until uh, two days ago when I first started playing this game when they sent me the code. And um, I'm having a lot of fun with it, but let's get into it and show you guys, for the people who haven't played this, what this game's about. So you could play this game online, you could play it locally, so you guys know there is both options. On, like, a lot of these multiplayer games uh, are usually local only, but this actually has both. But we're going to do local here. We're obviously playing this before the release date, so we're not going to find anyone online to play with anyway. So you pick your character here. I'm going to be the chicken. And we have these two levels unlocked. You can see that there's two out of 15 levels unlocked. This is kind of like the main hub on how you access things. So you can see here that there's party mode, which is what we're going to play. Creative mode, which is where you can build your own levels. Challenge, where you can uh, actually find other people's levels or, or play some of these levels. And free play, where you just do whatever you want. So we're obviously going to start here with party mode and pick a level. We'll go on the rooftops. So party mode is like the main mode of this game that a lot of people play when their friends are over. I believe this game actually, I don't even think this is a 4 player game, now I think it's an A player game. I have that in my head for some reason. I think this is actually an A player game. Uh, basically you get a, uh, a random assortment of items here to start off. And you are trying to make it hard for your opponent to get across. So they can't get across, but also easy enough for you to be able to get across. So it's like a balance of what you're trying to do here. So after you place, now we're over here trying to race. And you can see here, I made it across, so you get a, you get a certain amount of points for doing that. So you see here, you, know, you, you get a, a check mark for getting to the goal. And then it opens up a box again, and now you're picking new items. There's so many different items in the game. This coin, I'm going to place this here so it gives you guys an idea. There's so many different items, and they do so many different things. It's like crazy. And then you could set traps for your opponent that if they step on, you get points. If your opponent falls on your trap... So if you both get here, I believe no one yeah, no one gets points. I only get points because I got the coin, because I got there first. But if it's too easy and both people get across, it actually won't give anybody any points at all. So you can't, that's why I said you can't make it easy and too easy, because then you just, no one's going to get any points. That wasn't the black hole, that was the, 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 the rock thing, or whatever you want to call that thing that hit me. any point. Alright, we need to mess something up here at the beginning. One thing that we forgot that you can do, that I just remembered just now, we're going to use, is that you can rotate these things the opposite direction. You could rotate any item to do the opposite thing. So, you could do this right here. So when someone jumps, see if they catch them falling. And we'll put this rock. This seems to cause a lot of havoc. Oh, 
God damn it, I fell into my own rock. That was a good placement though, I could have had points. God damn it. Got hit by the hockey guy with his puck. That was a good round though. Two coins and and the and getting to the end was a big one. That ball saved me again. That ball was such perfect placement when I put that in there. And you fell into my trap, so there is the winner. I am the ultimate chicken. You can have that title. So there's a lot of different items in this game, and there's a lot of different strategy. Imagine playing this with... We're playing this with two people, but imagine playing with four people, and they're all adding tra uh, traps and all that stuff on the board. And how chaotic it would be because the levels obviously don't get any bigger when you play with four people it's just a lot more items so it becomes even crazier so just to give you guys an idea i don't know what we're going to find because the servers i'm not even sure if the servers are live because we're playing this before it came out but if you switch this to challenge and you go down here and it's cool that it keeps track of your score there too um you go down here, you can, this is where you can load levels that people are playing online. So if you come over here... Where are you going? In front of the computer. So, these are the levels. You can make levels, and then you can also click on level net, and this is where... I don't know if we're going to find any. It's very possible that these servers aren't working yet. Because people can make their own levels and share them, and then you can just go and try to and, and try to play them. I don't know if this is actually going to work, though. I had these work once when I was playing the game by myself a couple of days ago. Where it said this error message, and then I retried like ten times, and then it finally came up. But, I'm not sure if this is actually going to... I'm not sure if this is actually going to let us do this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to show you guys the online, but just know that you can share. You can create your own levels and share them with others. So there's an infinite amount of content that you can play with. And the levels that people share aren't just obviously background designs. They'll have all the placements of all those random items in perfect spots. And the goal of that, when you're doing that, is obviously to get to the level and get to the end and get points that way as opposed to building them yourself. So party mode is all about like you taking those blocks and building them in, in certain ways and strategizing them against your opponents. When you do challenge against people, that's a different thing where you'll, you'll play other people's levels that they already designed and you're just trying to get to the end as fast as possible or get to the end in general before your opponents do. So, that's, that's what that's like. And free play, um, you can just mess around and do whatever you want. Like I said, creative is where you create your own levels. So that gives you guys a roundabout idea of what this game is like. And uh, we'll go to the table now and I'm going to play some more of this and let you know what I think. Alright guys, so that was Ultimate Chicken Horse on the Nintendo Switch. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, this game's actually been around for a long time. People have been clamming for it to come for the Nintendo Switch because... It's a really popular game, and for some reason, I actually never played the game. I actually 
only heard about the game when it was announced for the Switch a couple a few months ago, and I decided to just wait it out and wait for it to come to the Switch because that's where I like my local multiplayer games. So I decided to wait, and that wait was worth it. Um, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm going to look down a couple times just to make sure I get everything out of here because I added a lot of new features into the Switch game that weren't on the original um, when the first when the game first came out as an update. So first of all, obviously it's a, it, it has online and local multiplayer, which is nice. Some of these games usually only do local multiplayer, but it's two to four people, so uh, or up to four people, I should say, not two to four, up to four because you can play by yourself. And it uh, has online and local, so that's nice. Uh, and what's even better is that online is not just uh, Switch multiplayer, but it's actually cross-play cross with PC people. So you're probably never going to have a problem finding uh, matches uh, because you're going to have a bigger pool of people. PC players are going to have people to play with, and Switch owners are going to have even more people to play with, so that's always good. The game's actually really popular. And like I said, it's done really well on the other systems. A uh, really popular game uh, as far as uh, multiplayer games go. Obviously what this game is is like a puzzle platformer kind of game. You can see some of the gameplay that we showed off before. Uh, what the game is kind of like and and what the premise is. Now before we go into what I think about the game, uh, let's talk about some of the things that they added to the game. So this one has 15 levels with unique gameplay features depending on which level you choose. You saw that we had the first two there. They were playing when we started playing. I unlocked uh, a bunch more after the fact, after that we filmed that video uh, of what you just saw. So I've played a, a bunch of the other maps already. And uh, you can build your own and you can share those custom levels like I told you about during the video. You can build your own and then share them with other people, which is nice. And you can compete for the global best times on the challenge levels. So basically uh, those challenge levels that I showed you before, you actually can compete, uh, have local leaderboards for each one. And like you know, compete against the whole world and see who can get through that the fastest. So that's really cool as well. Um, there's a, there's a, a lot of different variety in the game, obviously with all those blocks that are in the game, they, they even added a couple of new blocks in this game. Uh, one of the things that I, they added that I really liked here that we didn't really show off in that, in the, uh, demo before is that you can customize a lot of the rule sets in here. So you can customize the rules and the game modes. They have four, they have four different game modes in the game, uh, like preset rules, basically kind of like other games do where they change like. You know, how often a, a block comes up or only these certain blocks to come up or things like that. And they have four different types of games within those rule sets. And you can create your own rule sets and then save them as a game type. And, you know, so there's a lot of different variety with the way that you can play this game. Um, you can even play the game just by sharing a controller. So if you only have one controller and you want to play with four other people but you just don't have four controllers, you can even pass and play this with one controller and just try to get to the, you know, the, the most amount of get through the level obviously uh, as fast as possible with the highest time and see how you how you do uh some of the things that they specifically added for the switch version they actually added a lot so i'm gonna look down here just to make sure i don't miss anything there's a new character in the game there's now a monkey in the game that wasn't there before uh there is a new level called nuclear P plant that they added to this as well so there's 15 levels total and nuclear plant was one of the new ones and so is crumbling bridge that's another one that they added and mainframe so three new levels in the game uh, some of the new blocks that they added that I was talking about, a boxing glove is one of the new ones. The crumbling block is another one. The slow watch is another one that they added. Um, one of the other things that they added was the, uh, interface where you can actually, which I think we did show a little bit in there, where you can, um, it's like a little iPad that shows up when we first started where you select the game on and stuff. So there's now, you can go in there and select all the rules and stuff, customize, see all your stats, all those kinds of things are in there. Um, we talked about before that there's game rule presets. Uh, the four that are in the game are Limitless, Parker, Race, and Ultimate Loser. So, uh, if you don't want to just play by the original rules that the game comes with, you can either customize your own rules and make your own kind of game modes, or there's four presets that are in here. For example, Ultimate Loser that they added says, earn more points for letting others finish first, finish first, but don't wait around too long. So, that's basically what that game mode is like, and obviously the Race one is just straight up who can get to the end the fastest. Um, so, uh, one of the other features they added, you can change, you can even change the point values for each of the type of, you know, the, the points that you get awarded for each of the games. So if you want to get a certain amount of points for traps, like you saw, we get a certain amount of points. Those are the general rules. You can tweak all of this stuff and all the rules. So you can make the traps worth a little bit more, a little bit less. You can change the goals to be worth a little bit more, a little bit less. A comeback or a first place and all these different things that you can change. You can even change... The camera toggle, so you can only follow the, you know, all the players on the camera. There's so many different options in the game. You can even change, obviously, if there's a time limit in the round. So a lot of different things that they added, and obviously they also added a lot more uh, improvements into the game that uh, 
you know, they fixed from from previous issues. So, a lot of good stuff in this game. And this is, I can see why so many people have liked this game. This game is really good. Uh, it adds a real cool puzzle element to a game where you, you go there and you get a bunch of different random blocks into the game. And it becomes even more hectic when you're playing with four people. Everyone selects a block, you put it in there. Now, you selected two random things in the boxes because we were playing with two people. When it's four people, each one of you only select one, and then you run the course and see if you can get to the end. So, a lot of different variety, like I was talking about, with all the different things that they're always adding with the uh, different boxes and stuff and all the different traps you can add on people. Just a lot of different things you can do with that, and that doesn't even come into play. with. It comes with the 15 levels that they designed, and there's a lot of re replayability just in those 15 levels because of how you customize them with those blocks. But then add into the fact that you can create your own custom levels and download other people's that are that they're making and they're sharing all over the world. You can download those, play those, and compete with leaderboards and complete against your friend against your friends and see how fast you can complete a level. And all the different rules that you can customize and all the different presets that you can customize to even tweak the settings to play with your friends. Um, it's just crazy. And the fact that you can play this game on, excuse me, the fact that you can even play this game online instead of just four player local multiplayer is even better. So you can play this game with four people online, which is sometimes a rarity in these types of games. Obviously, I didn't have any issues with the game running. You saw there wasn't really any hitches or anything that I ran into or any different or any crashes or anything like that. The game seemed to run smooth for me uh, when me and my wife were playing. I did get a chance to try um, the online. I talked about before before the recording that I made, I played the game a few times, and I was able to load into a level and play someone else's and download it and run through the course and see how fast I can get through there. For whatever reason, when we started recording the, or the video, it wouldn't work. Obviously, the servers probably aren't up yet because the game's not out yet. And we recorded this a couple days before the game came out. So that's probably what the issue is. But I was able to get in there a couple of times and see some of the levels that people were making. There's a lot of levels already people made. Probably from the PC community, obviously, that already has a head start on us. So, if you like local multiplayer games or even online games that are like this, you guys need to check this one out. This has always been one of the top tier games uh, for local multiplayer games in general. And now the fact that we have this game on the Switch to add to the library of great local multiplayer games, it fits right at home. This is easily one I'm going to be bringing out with friends. It's going to be a crazy amount of fun for a puzzle platformer. Um, definitely check this one out, guys. I believe it's 15 bucks on the eShop, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know if it's 15 or 20 But uh, it's definitely a game you guys should check out. A lot of fun. If you guys have any questions about anything you guys saw, leave them down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie, gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie.